the one thing that still really bothers me and brings me back, I can't see on TV anybody getting their throat cut. When I see that on television, it just almost paralyzes me. It was a bright, sunny evening in a suburb of Chicago. I was working at a shopping mall. I was 17 years old, and I had just graduated from high school. I was excited to go to a graduation party, so I had asked my boss if I could get off of work early. And uh, where we had to park was a lot that was the employee lot across the street. And I had a CD in my hand as I'm singing out loud. And uh, as I'm walking, I almost felt like there was somebody behind me. And I stopped and I turned around and about 10 or 15 feet, there was somebody that was following me. And I glanced around and there was nobody else in the parking lot. And a lot of my gut instinct told me to run, to get away, but I, I didn't listen. And uh, I walked towards my car and I put my key into the lock and all of a sudden this shadow came up to my left and I was grabbed from behind and there was a knife pressed at my throat. I offered him the money that was in my purse and he said, it's not your money that I want. And those words just made my stomach drop. I was so scared and his car was parked just a couple of steps away from mine. And with the knife still held at my throat, he threw me into his car. And he had taken my wrists and used plastic zip ties and bowed my hands behind my back. And he had taken these band-aids and put them to conceal my eyes. And after he put the band-aids over my eyes, he put sunglasses on my face. Everything happened so methodically. And I knew in my gut that this was not his first crime. He started to drive slowly out of the mall parking lot. And he didn't know this, but I was able to wriggle my hands free. And I kept them behind my back and I surveyed the situation. He didn't know that I could see, but I could see down to either side, to the left and to the right. I saw that my seatbelt was on, the knife was put down at that point, and he's got both hands on the steering wheel. And I thought to myself, if I could just get out of the car, even if I rolled out, if I broke a leg or broke my arm, at least I'd be free. And so I can remember just taking a huge deep breath and trying to undo the seatbelt and get out of the car door. But he was too fast. And he grabbed me by my shirt with both hands and he said, you try that again, bitch, and your face won't be so pretty anymore. That's when I realized that this could potentially be the last day of my life, that this guy might kill me.